these rims are the Rock Crawler Pro Comp steel wheels. They're the 15 by 8, 4 and a half inch backspacing. So, for those who want to know what size tires or rims would look good on, say, a three and a half inch like this one, now I'll show you what it looks like uh, the backspacing from the side and, and stuff like that. So, let's see what we got going on here. So, for the backspacing, that's what we got right there. They don't stick too far out, they're not tucked in like they would be stock. So a lot of us a lot of us see the stock Cherokees on the road, so we know what size tires and what the rims look like. You can see this is the rear and um, Foley Flex. I do got some rubbing issues, nothing major. You can see right there, rubs right here. That's the back part of the end cap. But other than that. I can get it stuffed up in there pretty well, so it's not too bad. And then I'll show you what the the front looks like here. So there's your front, and that's got a little bit of rubbing issue also. Rubs mostly on the front. That's not too bad, but it's rubs right, rubs right here. Kind of hard to see in here, but maybe the other side will show. So let's go ahead and uh, see what was added to this lift. Do a quick walk around here. So with the rear, we'll talk about the suspension and what was added to the rear part of the lift. So I removed the tires, makes it easier for everyone to see what was added and stuff like that. So on both sides, of course, you're gonna get the leaf pack. It's the old brand new leaf pack on this one here. Comes with the new plate, new U-bolts comes with the of course two hockey pucks now you can put one two or none I mean I put two of them and as you can see I still hit the bump stop but that's good because it limits it just right where you need to be without rubbing the wheel well the only issue I did have was one of these bolts did this right there but that's fine I won't do it again now it's already out of the way well the lift also came with the old man emu shocks shock absorbers <clears throat> what didn't come with this lift that i bought separately was the extended brake line this brake line was for the four to six inch lift i think it might have been overkill goes from the body wraps around i i had and i had to train it to wrap this way and goes to the splitter right here and then these go to both brakes all the way now because it has abs I was concerned about the ABS sensors, so what I did was I just disconnected them from the axle here, here, on both sides. Now, they don't dangle, they don't fall, they don't get caught on brush or anything, so that's good. But when I'm fully flexed, they stay out of the way. So, and then that was a loud car, so I got a, I got a blue ones. Not that you can tell because they're just so dirty anyway. Now this line is only on the driver's side only for the rear. That's why it goes to the splitter and it feeds both axles. So you only need one, the passenger side does not have it. Okay, so that's that part. What's got these two, that. So let's go look at the front, see what we have on the front part of the axle here. So I'll also remove the front here also. What was added with what was provided with this lift as well was of course the coil springs two inch spacer again the old man emu suspension uh shock absorber but the front ones come with the so-called dust boot but it's plastic taking that sucker off it i said forget i tried but i guess it's on there for a reason i thought it was for shipping purposes but uh doing my search and it's not what i bought aftermarket also was the extended brake lines for the front now this is on both sides so one side feeds this one and you know you get on the other side and then uh, I also disconnected the ABS line on here it just dangles but stays out of the way thankfully and so when I'm fully flexed it can stretch but it's not going to stretch to its full length now the lift also came with JKS quick disconnects 
allowing you to remove this while you're on the trail swings up to right here on both sides the, the sway bar will swing up and locks into these uh, these uh, cable locks right here it keeps them out of the way you can grab this and pull it and it'll tension it or you can make it loose okay. the way you would disconnect these quick disconnects where are we at here there we are there's a pin and of course it's missing because I have it right here it's this pin right there it goes into this hole not that easy let's try that again oh my goodness well anyway you get the idea hold on I got pot so there we go I had to use two hands to get that pin in so it will go slide out to the side and that clips right in keeps the pin from sliding out so of course once take it out it just pulls right out and then this portion here that right there will slide right out real easy you can just swing that bad boy up your whole straight bar swings up like I showed earlier locks in here and stays out of the way what was also added or part of the lift was an aftermarket adjustable track bar the original track bar goes up here right there where this bolt goes but the aftermarket brings it down because of the lift it's a lot thicker and a lot stronger than the original of course that's how it is it's always stronger than the original ones wraps around the differential and goes from the body to the passenger side of the axle so and this is an off car adjustable meaning basically you'll have to take out this bolt drop this whole thing down this part right here clockwise or counterclockwise wherever you need to adjust the axle you gotta put it back up put that back in check your adjustments lock that sucker good right there I think these are safer than on car adjustable because you know it's a, it takes some time to get it right each time you gotta take it off put it on but once it's done it's done you don't ever have to worry about it again so then you know here's the other uh, passenger side quick disconnect for the sway bar uh, what was also added afterwards not part of the lift is a Russ's off-road steering box brace wraps right there around the box tight on both sides goes to the passenger side of the body you have to make your own holes it's easy to do and it keeps the steering box solid against the body so not only is it three bolts on the body but it's just extra brace holding it also so there you got that I just want to show everybody what was added and then because these four, these uh, six cylinders they run really hot so went ahead and added some hood vents F functional hood vents too Here's the underside. The metal was bent down all the way around to give it to give it strength or rigidity. Now, I can't take credit for these hood vents. Hood vent credit goes to my brother-in-law. He did his measurements, front, side, everywhere, and that way he got them both sides perfectly measured all the way around. So they're like perfectly right where they both need to be one's not higher than the other one's not lower than the other so and then for the kids safety if you know your Cherokees you know that the American versions did not come with headrests neither did this one these are headrests off of a ZJ which was that which I got out of the junkyard came with you know added, this came with the end of bracketry which is inside right now um, headrests are not required for rear passengers in the United States but they are required overseas when they exported the Cherokees so what makes it easy is you pull this whole seat cover here off which is just zippered on one on, on both sides and the bell curls right off you pull this off you can see it actually has the cutouts already where the, head, the headrest bracket would go when they exported the Jeeps so it was pretty much a no-brainer. One thing is, was getting these and the whole back seat out of the junkyard, bringing them home, chopping it off, 
putting the new brackets on. It was time, but it was fun. And it was a new learning experience too. So it's got those headrests, pretty cool deal. And then just because added an aftermarket stereo because the original one came with a high-end tape deck I don't know why a tape deck was used in 2001 so I took that out mostly because I wanted the auxiliary didn't get anything else but now radios come with Bluetooth now so go figure so there you go that's the Cherokee 2001 XJ again I say XJ so it's not to be confused with the new Cherokees and there's my dog playing with a rock anyway you buy a Cherokee have fun these things are tanks they're beasts they'll run you forever so especially with being a solid front rear axle the off-roading is a lot better and it's only limited to what your pocketbook could do Take it easy.